how are you? My name is Rosie, in case you don't know me. And as you already know, today we are going to be talking about this. Products that you use in your underarms so that you can stay fresh, so you can smell good. So today specifically, I'm going to be talking about the brand Hey Human and Native. And by the way, I have been using these deodorants for over a month each so that I could really test them out and really give you an in-depth and honest review. We're going to be talking a few points here, price point, packaging, and if it works. As always, everything that I talk about in this channel is cruelty-free and vegan. And if you haven't done so, I invite you to follow me on all social media pages with the same name, Lynn Sire. So without talking anymore, let's begin. So these products are vegan and cruelty-free. We're also going to talk about the importance of the products that you use, my journey in finding the right products. The first thing that I want to touch on is why it's important. So to me, it's not only about being healthy on the inside, taking care of the foods that we eat, but also being aware of the products that we apply on the outside of our body, being aware that some of these products contain harsh chemicals like parabens, it could be aluminum. So it's important that you pick products that are going to be good for your beautiful body. Parabens are believed to disrupt hormone function by mimicking estrogen. Through the use of paraben, the skin can get brittle, cracked, painful, swollen, develop rashes, and several other problems. It may even result in contact dermatitis, which is a serious type of skin inflammation characterized by rashes, blisters, and burning skin. Parabens may cause the skin to age faster. Because deodorants are applied near the breast, they can increase your risk of breast cancer. Harmful ingredients such as aluminum are known to accumulate in the breast tissue. The more you know about the products that you use, you're going to feel more confident on what to buy and you're going to feel good about yourself. So another important thing that why I'm sharing my journey is so that I can share a little bit about what happened to me so that I could find the right products. So a couple of things that happened to me is that when I would go to the store, there's a couple of things that happened. Either one, the product was not cruelty-free, maybe it was not vegan, maybe it had one of those harsh ingredients that we just talked about. Either they were cruelty-free and vegan, but they did not work. I would go to work, come back home smelling awful, like I would smell bad, like I didn't want anyone near me. They just simply didn't work. Like they would work only for a couple of hours and that's it. Or the other thing that happened, they did work, but they would give me a horrible rash. My skin would get really itchy. It would get red. So I had to stop using the product. So I had a hard time finding good products. It would be kind of a challenge to even find a good product that not only it was ethically made but also that would work but thankfully more and more brands are making products that are good for the consumer for me and you and it's so awesome that more and more brands are creating products where no animal has to suffer with no animal testing they don't have to die for us to be able to use a product that will work for you and me it's getting easier and easier to find more of these products Okay, so now I'm going to talk about each product individually so that I can talk about prices, the packaging, and if it works. Okay, so the first one I want to talk to you about is Hey Human, and this is about $5 at Target. It's, to be exact, it's $4.99, but you know that I like rounding my prices, so $5 plus taxes. Hi, if you're liking this video, remember to give it a like with the little hand there at the bottom. And it would be incredible that for me to continue sharing more things, the best way you have to support me is by subscribing to this YouTube channel by clicking on the red button that you are seeing at the bottom of this video. 
which by the way, if you still don't follow me on Instagram, do it right now at Lindsire because over there you will be the first to see what I share here on YouTube. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably missed the moment when I shared some of these items in real time. You will also see me try new beauty products and more. So if you don't follow me there, do it right now at Lindsire so you can find out about everything before everyone else here on YouTube. See you there. Regarding this is made out of paper. This is the first product that I use that it's made with paper and not the typical plastic packaging. This to me, it's so cool. Like I feel like more brands should be doing this for the environment to take care of the planet. This to me, it's a really amazing idea. As far as packaging, that I love. But what I don't like and that I find a little inconvenient is that I am not able to close this. It's just like it gets stuck or it starts grabbing product on the edges. So that's a little downside for me because I don't want this to be collecting like dust or any particles. See, like I just took something out. I wish I would be able to close it. Maybe if they wouldn't make this like too tight maybe a little loose so that it's easier to like put back on i think that would help a lot so what i have to do i have to leave it open in my bathroom cupboard because i am not even able to close it but i think that depends on the one that you get because the one that i had before by the same brand but it was the green bottle i believe it was banana and aloe that one i had no issue closing and opening but sadly i had to return it because I didn't like the smell so this time around I got rose water and ginger which this one smells so wonderful I love the scent I go to work and I come back home still smelling good in the afternoon so that to me it's amazing sorry I forgot to record this for my English channel so what I wanted to mention about Native is that it comes in the typical plastic bottle as most of these type of products do. And the one that I bought was from CVS around $12, but you can find it at walgreens.com on Amazon. So the downside for me is that it uses plastic, which is bad for the environment, for the planet. I have the coconut and vanilla. When I went to CVS, they had all the colors, all the flavors. I know I'm exaggerating, but it's the truth. And it was so hard to pick just one because I kept opening a few of them and a lot of them smell really nice. So that to me, Native, I feel that offers more options than Hey Human. I feel like Native also has better smelling deodorant than Good Human. So it was hard to pick just one, to be honest on that. And it's so convenient, like I said, I, I found it at CVS, but it's also available online. As far as how it works, it works amazing. I had no rash. I went to work in the morning, come back home, still smelling great. So I'm so happy, it works. <laughs> Same story with Hey Human, I would go to work, come back home, and I would still be smelling amazing. So I recommend it and I like it. Okay, so just to summarize, here I have Hey Human, here I have Native. This is about $5, this is about $12. I like that this is made out of paper. I like that this one has a lot of really nice scents that you can pick from. They're both convenient to get and they work amazing. So thank you so much for watching until the end. Let me know if you have heard of these brands, do you use them? Or if you have any recommendations, you can let me know in the comment section. And if you're still not doing so, you can follow me on all social media accounts with the same name, Lynn Sire. So I'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Kisses. Bye. <laughs>